my character is quite mysterious. She could be considered sort of an archetype, an archetypal beauty, or an archetype of innocence, an archetype of femininity, and she is that, but so much more, like so many other women in the world, so many other visual images that have depth to them. So she has a lot going on for her. Elise. Yes. Last night. Mm, last night. I was really excited when I first heard about doing this piece for the Masters of Horror because I had read another script previously and was very impressed with the script writing and I, when I was in the production office I had asked about the series and I w it was one of the shows that I really wanted to work on so I was happy to be able to participate. How can I, an old man with a small farm, deserve this lovely young lady as a wife? Sometimes you can tell if a character is right for you or not and then everything becomes easy because it's sitting in you. This is Ernst Haeckel. He will be staying with us tonight. Mr. Haeckel, this is my wife. Lise was married previously to her dead husband, her late husband, and Walter Wolfram is her second husband who has taken care of her and looked after her and been kind to her and gentle with her and they have this secret together that she's still in love with her first husband and so that's something that they share together. Can't you stay? Elise is consumed by the memory of her dead husband. Consumed. And so as the story goes along that's revealed that she is struggling with holding on to a memory and with anticipation for reuniting with her love. Derek's great. He's, um, he's gentle, he's knowledgeable, he's fun and relaxed. So it's been quite an enjoyable experience working with him. What are you looking for? You are such a lovely woman, Elise. It was something that I had to think about, having to go through doing the nudity and the sexuality, and not only sexuality, but sexuality with dead people. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to wrap your head around or justify. Um, but for me, I, I used to model up for life drawing classes. So the nudity was fine for me. And I've always thought that the human body and the human form is a beautiful thing and that our society is very repressive of that. So in terms of that, I was very comfortable. <laughs> I'm sitting out. <coughs> yeah, McNaughton's been really good uh, to work with. He has a very laid back attitude, which is nice, and is open to actors creating their own characters, which is not always the case with directors. This isn't Walter's boy. <laughs> the ritual that Elise uh, undergoes with her husband, which she's anticipating to see him again, she, it's a ritual that happens once a year to start. So in a previous adventure with her husband, she became pregnant with his child and Walter, being the supportive <laughs> husband that he was, accepted that child and looked after that child with Elise and they ra or, you know, raised this child, which, because it's a zombie, doesn't actually age. I warned you. You knew this was happening. Of course I knew. Howard, our special effects man, created this zombie baby for me, for the set and he did a great job with movable fingers and movable arms and it's all mechanical. I think everybody had fun with the zombie baby. But he looks just like his beautiful daddy. See? The whole cast's been great. 
everybody is lighthearted and it's been a really fun experience. The crew's been amazing. John, the director, has been amazing. So it's been a very good experience for me all, all overall. It's nice to sort of be transported. And uh, hair and makeup did a great job and costume did a great job. The dresses that I wore were all fitted for me and really beautiful. When we were filming the bedroom scene where Elise is making up the bed and um, John McNaughton says, you missed a prime opportunity to check out her ass there. You know they still did that in those days. So that's an example of how acting it is the same. Lisa's a pretty complicated character. She lives in a world of obsession. And I think that the film sort of touches on that theme of like being able to let go of someone you care about or holding on to their image. So Hickel follows her to the graveyard to try and save her and she doesn't really need to be saved because I guess she's doing what's in her heart. I went to set one day to visit my first husband, Chris, who would be my scene partner in that um, scene, and I met with John, and we just sat down and talked about the scene, make sure our visions were similar and that we were on the same page. And that was really great to be able to do that because then I could go to set ready to work and knowing that there was someone there that I could trust. I used to model for art classes, and John used to go to art school. So we had a similar vision of wanting it to be artistic. So that really helped. The baby that sort of brings me to the zombie world, you can't forget him. You can't leave him out of the whole journey. You know, because I couldn't have gotten there on my own. It took a, a little disgusting, living dead infant. John pointed out like H.R. Giger's uh, babies, which are like these babies that almost look like they have syphilis and VD and they're kind of falling apart and rotting and decaying. So we went ahead and designed the baby to kind of look like that. And I think John was pretty happy with it. I was excited about the series in general. And then when I found out that I would be working with John McNaughton, that was a nice surprise also, because I really respect the work that he's done.